Hey, it's Nate Savage here again, and welcome to video five of the Rhythm Guitar Quick Start Series. In this lesson, we're gonna learn another very important bar chord shape, one that's based off of your open A major chord, and it just uses the top five strings of the guitar. This concept here is gonna be very similar to when we took your power chord shape and moved it from a six string root note to a fifth string root note. We're basically gonna be doing the same thing from your sixth string bar chord shape, and we have another one that has the fifth string root note bar chord shape. Getting the shape underneath your fingers is gonna be really important, because just like your power chords, you don't wanna be jumping all around all the time. The same thing applies here. Once you get this shape down, you don't have to jump all up and down the fretboard to play your bar chords, right? Before we get into the actual shape that we're gonna learn, let's just take a look at the note names on the A string or the fifth string. Those are gonna be your root notes for this bar chord shape. So you have your open A, and then a B here, C, D, and so on. What we're gonna do is start by making an open A chord. That's gonna be kind of your foundational starting point, but just like when we did our other bar chord shape, we have to make this with our second, third, and fourth fingers instead of our first, second, and third fingers. So that's really your first step to learning this new bar chord shape. So all of your fingers, all three of those fingers will be on the second fret. Your middle finger will be on the D string. Third finger will be on the G string. And your pinky will be on the B string. And you can leave the sixth string out just on the top five strings. That may take a while to build up that dexterity and it may feel really awkward at first, but that's what you gotta learn how to do. Once you get that down, what you wanna do is come back with your index finger and kind of fake a bar right here and get, just get used to that shape and how it feels. Once you're comfortable with that, what we're gonna do is move our bar up to the third fret and make a bar chord here using this shape. Now, what I want you to do is remember all the tips I gave you about making a good sounding bar. Be right behind the fret. Don't come down on the, just the middle part of your finger right here, the fleshy part. You wanna come down on the bony edge right there to make it a little cleaner sounding, right? and then mess around with your placement this way to get the cleanest sound. A lot of times on a five string bar chord like this, I won't fret the low E string, but my index finger will brush up against it just to keep it muted in case I accidentally hit it. So what you wanna do once you have your bar in place there on the third fret is come down with the rest of your shape with your second, third, and fourth fingers and play the top five strings, leave the sixth string out. So was your bar chord clean sounding or was it a little? Was it a little dead sounding like that? If so, just double check yourself. Make sure you come down on the tips of your fingers on the rest of the shape. Make sure your bar chord is real strong right behind the fret. And just work on that. Again, for this shape, you can train yourself, kind of cross train. Put the bar on first, then put the shape on. Then do the opposite. Put the shape on, and then do the bar. And eventually you're gonna to wanna to get to where you can put this bar chord on all at once, bar and shape all at the same time. And alternatively, here's another shape for this chord. You can use your third finger as a mini bar too to hit all three of those strings. And that is a little bit harder and it feels a little bit different, but that's another fingering for that you might wanna check out. So play around with this shape, move it all around the fretboard, and remember that the lowest note you're playing here on the fifth string with your index finger with that bar is where you get the specific name for whatever bar chord you're playing. So like here, I'm playing a C bar chord because this note right here on the third fret of the fifth string is a C, C major bar chord. Same thing if I moved up to where my bar was on the fifth fret, the note on the fifth fret of the A string is a D if you look at the graphic. So if I make that bar chord shape here, I would be playing a D major bar chord using the A major shape. Once you get this bar chord shape down, what you're gonna wanna do is start mixing it up with your sixth string bar chord shape or your E major bar chord shape. And just like the power chords we learned, instead of jumping all around, like if I wanted to play a G, C, D progression using bar chords, I could use my sixth string E major shape, right, to play a G, a C, and a D. But again, that's a lot of moving around. You can use your sixth and fifth string root notes mixed up to play a lot more efficient version of that. So, if you wanna play a G major bar chord using the E shape, because this note here on the third fret of the low E string is a G, right? Then what we can do is use our fifth string shape to play a C instead of jumping all the way up here. 
And what's cool about this is you can leave your bar where it is and just switch from your E shape to your A shape. And this note right here on the third fret of the fifth string is a C, so that gives us our C chord using the A shape. So that's one change you're gonna wanna get down really well is going from your E shaped bar chord to your A shaped bar chord. Just back and forth, that's a really important change that every rhythm guitarist should have down. So if you wanna finish your G, C, D progression, it's really easy, all you have to do is move your C bar chord that you're playing here up two frets, and that puts your index finger on the fifth fret of the A string, which gives us our D bar chord. So instead of jumping around to play G, C, D, using all sixth string E shapes, we can mix up the sixth and fifth string root note shapes to play that chord progression a lot more efficiently. Take as much time as you need to get these shapes down individually before trying to switch between them, right? If you try to switch between these bar chord shapes before you really have them down, you're gonna cause yourself a lot of undue frustration. And if you really have them down, it's gonna be a lot easier to just switch them between them like that. Now we need to apply this to some real music. So pull up the jam track for this lesson. It's the same jam track that we used to work on our power chords with. So it's a G, C, D progression for one measure for each chord. And you can keep the strumming really simple if you want. If you just wanna do a whole note and just concentrate on the chords and making the changes, that's fine. If you wanna do quarter notes for each chord, that's fine too. Let me just give you a little example of what that'll sound like over the jam track. So do you see how knowing your sixth and fifth string major bar chord shapes kind of keeps you from jumping all around the fretboard? We stayed in one small area to play that GCD chord progression. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. In the next lesson, we're gonna go over some minor bar chords that you need to add to your chord library. If you have any questions about this lesson, you can leave them here in the comments or email me, nate at guitarsystem.com. See ya.